I think I think I got I think I got enough light. What's up, Jay? What's up, bro? Let's go over and get get it lined up and get get this in. Yeah, yeah. Get y'all get y'all some money this morning. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Man, you know I always check on y'all. But uh, I just I just moved I just moved I moved I really moved out of town for real. Okay, but uh, okay. that's why I ain't been seeing you around here. Right. But I said let me let, let, let me stop by here on my way. I said, I'm gonna find y'all. Very, very. Y'all done changed location. We got, we, we got, we got to do this uh, interview, baby. We got 50, 50 cash for us today. I know you it's just, it's your tent right here? Yeah. Oh, it's y'all tent? Yeah, that, that's our home for right but now. But she out here. She, I, know, I know you ain't want him to see you like this right now, baby. I know. Well, I she know. can go ahead and get, get this up together. Yeah. You want to get yourself together first? Hey, Lana, get on up. Yeah. Get on up. I'm gonna cut this off. And let you get yourself together. You really ain't got. You ain't sit right there and chill. Huh? Yeah. You, come on, get on up. <laughs> you look. You don't. You don't look no different. You dancing them down. <laughs> let the, let the, let the, let the people. See. You look rough. Nah, nah. <laughs> you don't look rough. You're a pretty girl. I want what's the people up, to see. What's up, America? How y'all doing, man? Oh shit! You sound like Hollywood. Nah. What's up, America? I need this, this, this is uh, you, you all right? This, this is uh, y'all call this at home, so to speak. You know, we just now waking up. You know, but uh, like we say, real is real, and we real. Yeah. Real right now. Real right now, cut. Yeah. So what y'all got going on, man? Catch us all the way up on what's been going on, cause I know uh, something had to be going on. Uh, I see y'all got y'all new location. It's really the old location before they ran everybody off and y'all back. Yeah, this is where everybody used to be at like two, about two years ago. It wasn't nothing but tents out here. You probably had 5,000 beer bottles around there right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the city came through and ran everybody off. Ran everybody off, but. Y'all went next though. We, we just came back and, and said, fuck it, you know, we just gonna parlay. Yeah. Know? But um, things been, things been a little bit rough for a us. A little bit rough. Things been rough. Um, yeah. But for the most part, uh, we we've done pretty good by like Surviving. managing, yeah, like managing the fact that there's not a lot of money that um, it's people are, way. yeah. But what we're we're taking what we get, and we're trying to make it stretch because for the winter time coming up Lord, and being sick or not doing well like that is 10 times worse out of person. Yeah. And I'm I'm not doing very well. Y'all caught me on a day where I'm not doing the best. You sick? Yeah. You sick too, Junior? Yeah. Uh, when I, I seen you, Junior, you were limping. I said, man, he, I said, he walked like he dope sick. Yeah, I am, man. And on top of that, I got bad feet anyway, so yeah, my feet hurt every day. Yeah, yeah, so. But uh, all in all, Shit. You just keep fighting. That's all you can do. That's all you can do, right? You ain't got no choice. You gotta fight, cause if not, what World you gonna do? Well, eat your ass up. Shit. We ain't, we, we ain't trying to get ate up. You know, we barely <laughs> surviving. So what's up with the, uh, with the camps? Yeah. Uh, you, 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 have you been to any doctor appointments? Tell me the truth. I've been, I've been to one. I've been to one. One doctor appointment? One. Yeah, I just can't, I can't get up and get it, get it going, man, you know. I think I'm it's just, just too rough for him. I'm, I'm just living with it, you know. I just, I don't know. I'm not trying, I, I guess I'm not trying to fight it like I should. I'm just living with it. It is tough for me because I love him and I care about him. One thing I can't do, I can't force somebody to do anything. And I, I gotta sit there and watch him. See, I'm, I'm supposed to be going to the doctor Thursday. This coming Thursday. I gotta you get call, If you call me, Junior, I'll take you to the doctor. All right, that's what if, it is. But if you don't call me, then I ain't gonna worry about it. That's what but, it is. But uh, you always gotta ride to a doctor appointment. See, I'd rather do shit like that than for y'all than give you cash money. But I will, I will still give you some money either way. Because we're gonna do an interview on the way there. Let people see you. Let people see you uh, Make your doctor's appointments and, and get and get and I wait on you to see what they say, and you still gonna make some money. But it 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 it'll benefit you 
and it'll benefit me because sometimes people need to see me do something other than give out money to muscles who got addiction. Okay. Why, why they in the hood, why they struggling, why they high. Yeah. Cause they like, okay, are you you doing it enabling them to go get high, you doing this. Uh, we wanna see you help somebody sometime. Okay. I can't force nobody to get clean. All I can do is follow you around until you're ready to get clean. But I can help you with other things, like yeah. going to your mama, or goddamn, uh, going to a doctor's appointment, or catch a court dates, or shit like that. Right. It's help, that's help too. Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. help too. Yeah. Cause, cause you, you go to them, doc them doctor's appointment, go get your prescription, I'm helping I'm help you live. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? I feel you. If you miss a doctor's appointment, then you, you lost your goddamn medicine, you didn't, you didn't get your shit refilled, yeah. shit, you might not be here uh, next year. Yeah. I feel you. And I so, thank you for that too. Yeah, I don't got no problem yeah. with that shit. Uh, so what's up with the, uh, how, the opiate addiction? Oh, is, is it overriding the crack addiction? It's, it's, Cause I mean, I mean, when y'all first started doing that shit. Yeah. I it's, mean, it, it's like we. Just, it's basically it feels like you gotta you gotta constantly try to go out here and hustle, make money, just to live. That's just to was, survive, just yeah. to get up. Like, yeah, you don't get high. Like, it's not like you're doing it to get fucking high. I haven't no, been fucking high don't. off of heroin yeah, in a long time. You do it just just to be able to get up and move and fuck. And the shit that's out here now, this shit is fucking trash, man. But the thing I don't is, know what y'all doing to it, man. Stop stepping on the shit so goddamn much, man. But it's like you're constantly chasing it. It's like, it's like you, I used to have like maybe a 12 hour period where you, when we first got on it, where you could do some, do enough of it, go to sleep, be able to wake up, and have a little bit and still be able to function and go out. And now it's like you get like maybe five, six hours. If you don't have it in five, six hours, you're, you're, you're fucked. You gotta go back out there to make more money just to just to get up and move it sucks man it's like every five hours every five six and hours we, don't have, be out here. we have to have that fucking heroin or the opiate we have to have so when, you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you wake up uh if you go to sleep on 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 on, on the opiate starting to wear off but it, it ain't hurting you to the point where you can't go to sleep if you go to sleep you wake up and you're in pain yeah. Do you think about crack? No, the first thing I think of is getting some goddamn boy. Yeah. But yeah. the thing is, get you gotta make enough. Of me. You gotta make enough money. So if you're trying to get out there and get boy, call, you can't you. just call to get ten, twenty dollars. Nah, you gotta, you gotta go out there and you might as well get enough. So then you gotta you have, have thirty dollars just to get a motherfucker to come out here and bring you. Yeah. Some. So then you're like, and thirty dollars okay. gonna last the two of you. Two of you got five, yeah, six out. Nah. Shit. We, we have we have no choice. We gotta make it stretch. Y'all shooting it yet? Or y'all still nah, snoring? Nah, we just snoring. Um, nah. Never shot nothing. Nah. Junior, when you first start doing this shit, you, you OD six times in thirty days. I remember when you first started. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you been ODing lately? Nah. <laughs> nah. You, you a professional now? Nah. Nah. I'm, 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 I'm I done cut back and and. This stuff's not the same no more. It's not. It's, it's not. not. Is it that the stuff ain't the same, or is it that y'all tolerance level through the roof? Her. My tolerance level is yeah. sky high. And mine, I mean mine sky is, high. Mine is the same. Well, it's it's gonna grow a little that, bit. That's the difference. When you first start doing this shit, you can get some garbage and OD. Yeah. Because your body ain't like this, this new good. shit. Yeah. You don't even know if it's good or not. Cause you are gonna get the same effect as a motherfucker that been doing it for six years if they got some pure. Cause it's new, but as you as you as you go along, you start learning and your body start adjusting. So now it, it take you can't get high off that shit that's being cut ten times. You gotta find some shit that's being cut two times, and, and just just to feel it. So if you're getting the same shit that you got at the beginning, it, it, it ain't gonna have the same effect. Nope, nope, nope. That yeah. makes sense. And that that definitely it definitely makes sense. I, and now I can me yeah, myself, now I understand like. I just hate that that, right. that man, my baby, even got on that shit. I know, man. What you gonna do? I, I know, I know. I ask y'all that every time I see y'all, but it's my job to ask y'all that. Where you see yourself at in two years if you don't get off of it? Um, Where you see yourself at in two years if you don't get off of it? 
But, but I, 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 I can think back two years ago. Y'all was in the same, y'all was still doing the same thing. So y'all ain't really, I ain't gonna say, y'all ain't really went down no farther than when I met y'all. Cause y'all still got, y'all still got your tent. And you still together. You still got them, get your little sign and make your little money to survive. You still got them going to McDonald's, get you something to eat. But we don't, we, two years from now on that, with that open addiction and with you having your health issues, what, 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 you, think, what you think? I, I don't know. Okay. Can't think that far. It's like, we're about next week. I'm just worrying about today, today and tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. It just sucks for me though because I love him. And like the health issues, man, and the drugs. Drugs are not good for you, period. So what's you gonna do if you lose I worry about that every day. Every day, man. All I do is pray. That's all I do. A man, a man, a man duty and obligation, for real, for real. Is to provide and protect yeah. his woman. Yeah. A woman duty and obligation is to nourish her kids and her man. Yeah. So if you love him the way you say you love him, you're gonna have to find a way to get him to go to the doctor's appointment. If he wake up and he's dope sick, he's like, man, fuck that doctor's appointment. I'm trying to get me some shit to goddamn. Look, I I I, I can't move. Oh, I've, I've, I've you, you you gotta help him. You gotta even you gotta go get the ride. And and and, and 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 oh yeah, she's there for me. She we, she she she. Um, I, I think what? a motherfucker take you in where you want to go. When we we I've had a ride set up. Your face is gonna clear up a lot. But go yeah, ahead. I I've been I've been trying to. But go ahead though. Yeah, you ain't got no sores and shit on your face. Thank you. Um, uh, even when we had a ride set up, I don't know if um he's afraid of what's gonna be said. But it doesn't matter if I have a ride or not. He won't go. I've made sure that he's had a ride and made sure that if he could come back that he had stuff so he wouldn't worry about it. He doesn't want to go because I guess he doesn't want to hear right, any but, of uh, the news. But when you, when you're afraid to hear when you're afraid to hear your results, you'll you'll fuck around and die five or ten years earlier. Yeah. Because uh you're gonna wait until uh you go to the hospital for something else, and then they say, man, you came in here because you had a broken arm, or you came in here because you had pneumonia. Uh, we got some good news and bad news. The good news is, the pneumonia going away. We're gonna put a cast on your arm, but the bad news is you got 90 days to live because you're canceling stage four now, and such, 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 such. When, if you would've just took the bad news at stage two, yeah. you got the chemo, or stage three. Yeah. You got farted. It, it, it ain't no good, it, you gotta put in your mind, with, with, that, with that type of with that type of condition, it, it it's, it's gonna it's gonna be some news that you might not want to hear, but the, but but sometimes that bad news can save your life. It can save your life sometimes, but when you're scared to hear, it, man, shit, you you you, you think you, you think you're escaping the, and running from the bad news, but but damn, what you what you're really doing is just taking years off your life. Yeah, if that, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> it does. And I appreciate that too. It gives yeah, me yeah. something to think about now. That's how everybody is. Every time, I go, every time I go to the doctor, I be scared too. Like, man, I hope these motherfuckers don't come in and tell me no bullshit. <laughs> scared <laughs> as a motherfucker. But at the end of the day, go on again to me because I want to live. Yeah. But it, no, it is what it is. I, I ain't going to preach to y'all, man. But anyway, my camera friend go there, man. God bless y'all. I'm, I'm glad to see y'all, man. Thank uh, you guys. We're we, we going to rock out. I'm All back, America. Y'all heard him. God bless y'all. Bye. <laughs>